For the last two years, I've been getting messages from people all over the world, men and women, telling me what happened to their testosterone levels after they started with ice baths. They're sending me their lab reports and they're showing me how their testosterone levels have gone through the roof, just like mine. Well, this is a guy, funny thing happened to his testosterone. It went through the roof to 1140, which is crazy high. When I started getting TRT, I was in the 200s. I got up to 800 ish, but could never, never, never really top 800, no matter how much they were giving me. So, you know, we got the cold plunge tub at home. I get tested every three months, just got my results back this past Monday. And, um, it was 1330. Nothing else has changed. I had a full hysterectomy. I went on bioidentical hormone creams, started doing the cold therapy. And the only thing that was different was the cold therapy. That was it. And now my endocrinologist, she messaged me and she like, stop the testosterone now. I was mostly interested and had a beautiful accident stumbling into was pre-workout cold exposure and the accidental increase in free and bound testosterone from the low 200s up to almost the 600s in about a 35, 45 day time frame. And so I go four months, I'm doing our little cold plunges two to three times a week. My total testosterone went from 0.6 nanomoles per liter to 1.1, almost a 2x change. When I was tested, my free was at 211. I had my blood work done after I had been doing cold plunging for about a month, a month and a half, and my testosterone was at a 1500. Hmm. And they're like, are you up in your dosage? Like, what, what's going on? I'm like, no, just, just doing an ice bath. And the best thing is for you to try it for yourself and see what happens.